Hey, what's up you guys? It's Olivia and today I'm here to film my July wrap-up. The first book that I completed this month was The Death Cure by James Dashner. This is the third book in the Maze Runner series. Well, I guess the fourth, but I consider it the third. And I'm not really going to tell you anything about this because if I do, it'll literally, literally, literally spoil the whole series. But I think... I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Next book I picked up but did not complete and that was The Kill Order by James Dashner and I only made it like that far in but one I was like reading it really slowly. I yeah I was reading it pretty slow and I think it's because I had just finished the whole other the whole, whole other installments of the Maze Runner series and this one is different characters 13 years before and I think I was just so stuck in the world with the characters that I couldn't do it with different ones so I think I'm gonna pick this back up sometime in August just so I can pick up from where I left off and not leave it around for forever and have to start over from the beginning. So The third book that I completed this month was Four by Veronica Roth and you, if you have been watching any of my videos recently, you know I've basically talked about this book every single time, but actually going into it, I didn't know if I was going to like it. I was still excited for it nonetheless because it was more time in the, the more time in the Divergent world, but I was kind of nervous because they are, are they all are from Four's perspective and I didn't really like his perspective in Allegiant. I thought it was way too similar to Triss's and I constantly had to go back to the beginning of the chapter and check whose point of view it was in. But thankfully this was so good. It was so much of an improvement for Four's point of view. I loved it. It was it was so great. But but basically, if you don't know what this book is about, it's a compilation of four short stories and three exclusive scenes, all from Four's point of view. And the four scenes are the transfer, the initiate, the son, and the traitor. And then, like, the exclusive scenes are just stuff that happened in the Divergent, but in Four's point of view. And it was great. I loved it. I gave it five out of five stars. But yes, it thankfully exceeded my expectations for Four's point of view. The next three books I picked up in the month of July were Saga Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3, all by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. And basically, if you don't know what these are about, like, shame on you, they're all over book two. <laughs> but it's basically set in outer space, and it's about these this planet and this moon and the two societies living on each are in a huge war and these two were on opposite sides I believe he is from the moon and she's from the planet and so they were on different sides serving as soldiers both at one point and then they fell in love they <laughs> ran away and they had a child which I'm not sure anyone knew was possible but basically they're being like hunted down by like five different people and that's basically what these are about it is they're so good if you are younger please don't read them there is some mature content but I enjoyed them all so much I love the narrator and just some of the things that the narrator says and how they word it and I'm not gonna tell you who the narrator is but yes and I gave all of these five out of five stars the next book I picked up this month was Landline by Rainbow Rowell. This book is about a woman named Georgie McCool and basically how her marriage is so screwed up. <laughs> Georgie and her husband Neil have been together since high school and they're married and they have kids and their marriage is basically on the rocks. And this Christmas they were gonna go to Omaha to see Neil's family which was, you know, gonna be great and it was all gonna work out until Georgie, who is a TV show writer, got the deal of a lifetime with her best friend and co-writer Seth and it's basically the 
show that they've been writing and wanting to write since they were in college together. So it's a big opportunity, but they have to have four or five episodes done before like the day after Christmas. So Georgie goes home and tells Neil that she can't go to Omaha. And she, you know, figured hopefully Neil would be upset but would understand. Instead, Neil got very angry, said, you know what, we have tickets anyways, and took their two daughters and left for Christmas. One night Georgie tries to contact Neil who has not been picking up all day and her cell phone was dead. She was at her mother's house and her mom said, well that landline, you know, that you used to have in high school is still up in your room. And she plugged it in, tried to call Neil's cell phone and it didn't connect. And she called his house and basically got in contact with like junior year of college Neil. So that's all I'm really gonna say. But yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think I gave this 4 out of 5 stars, or like 4.5. I really liked it. So, yes. The next book that I picked up this month was The Arithmetist by Brandon Sanderson. And if you watched my book haul the other day, you all probably definitely know I have no way to describe this book. Like, I physically can. I will probably make you more confused. But, so just like, look it up on Goodreads or something, because I have no idea how to explain it. And like, I read the synopsis when I first got it and like, still didn't know what it was about. I just had to read it. But I ended up really enjoying it and gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. The final book that I completed this month was Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. Now, when I picked up this book and started reading it, I was not expecting to give it 5 out of 5 stars in the end. Like, I probably thought I would give it like 2 or 3, but just it's just like the last 50 pages just blow your mind. <laughs> also, I have never read on the back further than like these big letters, so I didn't know it was in dual perspective, but it is. So once I got to the second chapter, I was like, what the hell? And I think it kind of put me off about the book until it started picking up. But basically this book is about a boy named Cullen and it's the summer before his senior year of high school and a bunch of things start happening. Like this guy in town says he saw this bird that was like apparently extinct 20 years ago and the whole summer is everyone focuses on that but also during the summer Cullen's brother disappears and throughout the story obviously it's following Cullen and his family and like what they're going through and stuff like that. But that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not really gonna talk about the other perspective in this at all. I think it's much more, you'll be much more pleased going in blind on that. But just the way that the stories intertwine and come together in the end are so perfect and brilliant that you're just like, what just happened? And like, it was unpredictable until you got up to some point and realized what was happening in the dual perspective and I was like oh my god and it went from maybe being a two or three stars to a complete five just in the last half of the book so I definitely recommend this and I finished that book last night so I have not really started any of the books but I did pick up a picture of Dorian Gray because today is the 31st and tomorrow I have to send an essay into my English teacher next year about how the book's been going so far and I have to be at the midway point. And I'm on page nine! So those are all the books that I've read in the month of July. Be sure to tell me down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought and if you agreed with me or think I'm completely wrong. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you all soon. Bye! Okay guys, so I was just editing and I totally realized that I forgot a book, but also this month I reread The Purpose of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Schwalski for like the third time I think I reread it. It gets, and it honestly gets better every time and I mean if you don't know what this book is about, I just, I can't help you. But I just wanted to film this really quickly because I can't believe I forgot it. But yes, I also read this and it is always and continuously a 5 out of 5 stars. Bye again! So the first book that I completed this month was The Kill Order by James Dash. No. Stupid, stupid, stupid. And it thankfully exceeded my expect expectations. I can't talk today! But... Hello? Sir? Sir?